Hello everyone, as I say before this video starts, I have no creation with this website. Uh, please, do not buy fake or knockoff products if you can. I know they're really hard to spot, but just don't visit Chinese websites. Try to figure out where the best website is and get them from reputable sites like uh, Tokyo Taka Mood, Right Stuff Anime. And if you can, I heard you can, but there might be a little... Try to get them off Amazon if you can as well. Please don't buy them from any other websites. Everything I say is my own voice. And I was, I'm was i just a curious person and not really a judgmental person. But this time I just had to say, uh, again, if you're like me and you just want to buy these just to have a laugh and to see what the quality is like, do it. I don't, I don't care. But just to be fair warning, I just want to say I have no creation with the site or buying and selling fake products. Please don't. And now, on to the video. Hello everyone, my name is Earth Spitfire, and like the intro said, this I am curious, and I decided to go to this site called, you might have heard of it, it's called Wish, a lot of people are doing uh, unboxings and hauls and stuff from it. And my one of my friends told me that he saw some Nandroids on there and said, you should check them out for your channel. I'm like, fine, why not? So I bought a Riku uh, from Wish. And here, here she is. Now if you couldn't tell from the quality of my camera, from here, she doesn't look too bad. Cause I, this is my first Nandroid, so she's not bad, she's not great. The paint's not too bad. It's when you actually get into the accessories and then the pin on the accessories is where. And another reason, another thing I want to tell you. This box that it came in, the dead giveaway of a kind of bootleg product. Most bootleg boxes can't come pretty much like this. And they actually say pretty well of what's going on. They actually went to detail to actually copy the, uh, let me see if I can find it, the, the Good Smile company logo and copy pretty much everything in the box doesn't feel half bad and it does come with all the accessories the only thing that it didn't come with is probably another dead giveaway for a fake or bootleg is there's no instructions it did come with the sticker set to put on the guitar case so that's one we'll go to accessories later but For what I got, it's not too bad for another bootleg. The pieces don't like to stay on the arm I have right now with the, the glove arm right here. Doesn't like to stay on very like it likes to fall. The thing about the stand is the actual stand that she comes with actually works. A lot of reviews I watched on bootleg uh, and you know, uh, you know preparing for this video and this buy was the uh, stand. Like these outside ones don't work, but the inner ones, like these outer ones, they work really well. There's a pair. But these, like the middle one, doesn't like to stay at all, so that's a bummer, but you know, I'm not going to use that. Another thing I don't like is this face, and I'm really scared about the other figures, is on these faces. I'm not sure if you can tell, but there's a little bit of red there from the transfer. That's from our little piece of hair. And another dead giveaway about this figure is her head. They don't detach like a uh, regular uh, nandroids you gotta take off the head and then replace it and then put the hair back on this little thing is actually like glued into the inside and it actually goes onto the face so you actually get that like transfer again let's go on to the accessories now she comes with a couple hands for holding this uh, the scissor blade which we'll talk to right now they actually did a really really nice job the only thing I don't like which I can actually fix on my own with some good old hot water is there's a little bit of bend to it. I think it's actually supposed to be kind of uh, a little bit straight, but there's a little bit of a bend to it. I remember it kind of being straight, but you know, I haven't seen the show in a while, so I've been rereading the manga because I got the uh, third volume, but I don't really remember it being like curved like that. So it actually might be, but I think it's supposed to be kind I think it's supposed to be straight, which I can fix with some hot water, so there's no problem with that. Again, the faces don't look too bad. This is a like, shy face. It, they don't look really good. Like I said, whoever de de does these, 
did a really, really nice uh, paint job with uh, the eyes and the mouth and the face. There's only a little bit of a defect there, but you would hardly notice. And here we had just like a, you know, the neutral face, kind of happy face. And the only thing on this is that I'm kind of scared with the other face is that little bit of a little bit of transfer there, but that's not too bad. So, and she does come with, you know, the actual accessory, like this little extra leg for posing. I might have trouble with the with this camera for reviewing. Sorry about all the background noise. I have neighbors and they're hollering. Um, and again, with these, uh, we have this eye. Don't remember his name. I don't think I can even pronounce it, but on the actual figure, the uh, eye on this doesn't look half bad, but this, the paint's like awful. It's like terrible. And again, with these, if you actually look at all the paint, the paint actually looks not as bad as you think on the accessories. The only one that has a little bit of problem is this right here. There's a little bit of red on the flesh. Not too bad. But, uh, yeah, that's all I gotta say in the guitar case. Doesn't like to stay on her back. That's number one problem is this hole right here. I've been trying to drill it. And it doesn't have the, like, thing I could put onto her back. So it likes to fall off and doesn't stay on half the time. So what else can I talk to you about? Uh, not, nothing really that much. Like... And then this other face, which is her yelling face, doesn't look too bad. I think it's supposed to be a, a sharp tooth. It's just barely painted on. It looks terrible. Like, I never noticed that, but it doesn't look too bad from from afar. I wouldn't, you know, if it was a knockoff. It looks really good. And like I said, there's no, like, two, there's, like, no, like, paint defects on it. Like, there's only a couple little scratches, which I could probably, uh repaint over and, you know, cut and stuff like that, and, you know, redo all that. She does come with a couple holding hands to hold the scissor blades. The scissor blades, you know, my only problem with this whole thing is, especially with the head thing, is that's the one reason where I knew I was going to get a bootleg, and I don't really care and again like I said in the intro I don't really support buying bootlegs but for me I'm not a really judgmental person and I don't really mind too bad both people are going to be like what the heck why are you doing that but really Oh, I also paid uh, $21 for her. Uh, so, yeah. I, I don't really have too many things to tell you. Hey, that's what I'm going to tell you like it's in the intro. If you want to buy knockoff figures and other products, be my guest. I don't care. I'm probably going to do the same. We're all going to do the same. Maybe the seller didn't know or, you know, they're, they don't care. Like, hey, we're going to get... We're going to get this dumbass here to buy our figure for half the price of retail. Because the actual retail price of that is like, what, 64 not 64 50 I'm going to get $56. And I also saw some other figures on Amazon going for like 65 And then I go to like these Chinese websites and they're selling them for like 15 bucks. So, hey, if you want to buy these uh, cheap kind of knockoff androids and figmas and just you know marvel legends action figures stuff like that go ahead be my guest i'm like again we bring on the same you can't really tell if you're buying something unless you look at the box and like t contact start be like is this a knockoff and they'll probably like it be like no it's real so yeah that was pretty much all i kind of rambled there for a minute you thought this was going to be kind of a rant but um, there's nothing I can say. I can't really return it. I can't really do nothing. So I'm gonna keep it and put it on, uh, put it on the shelf back there, somewhere where I might put it up there. I'll put it somewhere where you can see it in all its knockoff glory. So yeah, fun to say that. I knew a lot of people did, but I didn't really see one on this. So I thought I would do one on that. So that's it. And again, if you wanna buy it, be my guest. Uh, uh, peace the fuck out and bye.